Number 12, if you're focusing on technique over speed and power, you will become better. So many people out there are trying to punch really fast or really hard and not thinking about the technique. Slow it down, work on good form, good technique, and then we can always speed it up after that. Number 11. Balls of your feet. When you're moving side to side, forwards and backwards, always be moving on the balls of your feet no matter where you are. Because in this position here, now I can always throw punches. But if you're plodding flat footed here, you can't really throw them punches. And as well, you can't move fast if you're flat footed. When you're on your toes, you can spring backwards and forwards, into range, land the punches, out of range to get out of danger. So always move on the balls of your feet. It's common for us to want to be flat footed because when we walk day to day, heel toe, heel toe, we're getting the habits of moving on them toes. By all means, you can be flat footed while you're here, but when you're moving, on the toes. And on this video, I'm going to give you 10 more small tips that will make a big difference in your boxing game. And if I had a guess, tip number four is something that you really, really need. So make sure you watch the tip number four. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Tony Jeffries, Olympic medalist boxer, former undefeated professional, seven times national champion, European gold medalist. And on this YouTube channel, I give you everything boxing. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications for more videos like this. Now let's get straight into number 10. And it's this. Small slips rather than big slips. Often people will be hitting their heavy bag and they'll throw that one, two, and then they'll slip down here. Look right down here. If I'm this far down, I'm off balance and I can't throw any punches from there and it's unnecessary. We need to slip the amount of a glove, which is around eight inches. So you've got a line in between your feet like there. Now I just need to slip, get my head off that center line, just enough for that glove to go flying past me. And as well, if I threw a one, two slip, now I'm in this perfect position, now whoomp for the counter. Or if I'm slipping to my other way, or for a jab slip there, just enough, head off the center line, for that glove to go past, whoomp, fire back. So number 10 is small slips, not big slips. Number nine, can you tell me what I'm doing wrong here? What's wrong with this boxing style? I'm turning my hips, I'm staying relaxed, hands going back to the face, right? But look where my chin is. Now to you, this might not look that my chin is high, but it's too high. I could get clipped over the top there, cost my chin's in this position. We need to get our chin down. Just there, a couple more inches. So from here to here. When you keep your chin down, there's way less chance of you getting hit. But you might be thinking, well, I don't spar anyway. And if you don't spar, you still should keep your chin down because it just looks better. Rather than this guy, be this guy. Chin down, looking up through your eyebrows, like this. And as well, because my chin's down, if I throw that jab, look, and someone tries to get the overhand right, my chin's kind of covered a little bit with my shoulder there. And that is not by bringing my shoulder up, but my chin down. This is something that I've spoken about so many times on this channel before, and that is exhaling with each punch. Staying relaxed. It's so easy for us to get tight. And, you know, waste lots of energy and not breathe because we think that if we hold our breath, we're going to get more power in the punch. But no, you need to relax. Exhale with each punch. This way, your punches will be have better technique. They will be faster and you will gain more power. Exhale. So never forget that. And this kind of leads me on number seven, which is my eyes. My eyes should be facing forward all the time, no matter what I'm doing. There's not a worse position in a fight that you could be in than this right here, looking down at the floor because you don't know what's going to come and the punches that do the damage is the punch that you can't, can't see now if you're down here you can't see the punches and you will get hurt so eyes up all the time whether you are slipping rolling no matter where you are in the ring pivoting eyes up facing forward at your opponent and the place that i like to look is in the chest right there because if i'm looking at your chest i can see your feet your hands, if they were out here, my peripheral vision can see everything. So I always like to keep my eyes up forward onto my opponent's chest there. Or if you're on the heavy bag, my eyes facing forward on that bag all the time, no matter what I'm doing. Now, number six, this one is always think about defense. It's easy for us to be on the bag and, you know, punching away and forgetting about defense or shadow boxing here. Even if you're not planning on sparring or fighting, you should always be adding defenses in there because you just look like a better boxer. So if I throw a jab, I've thought about that defense, throw that one, two, I've defended there. <laughs> Defending, always thinking about that defense and that will take you from looking like an average fighter to a, a top level fighter. Now, once you've thought about the defense, 
What you can do after that is think about a counter punch. So I'm here, I've threw the punches, I've defended, then I can come back with counter punches as well, which will just take you to the next level. Number five is step when you roll. Now, you know, we will do a one, two roll and we'll be here, which is good and this is basic stuff. But if you step with the roll, you're gonna be able to change that angle and come at your opponent from a different angle. Now, if you think this is my guy right here, I threw a one, two, rather than roll and stay in that same position, now I throw that one, two, I roll, now I've changed the angle and I come at him from a different angle, which makes it more complicated for him. It's a more advanced move, but if you roll with your step, it will get you more advanced and it will make you better at boxing. Now, before we move on to number four, which is something that I guarantee you're doing, I need to talk about the sponsor of today's video. Something you need for recovery, which you're probably not getting enough of, is good quality sleep. Now, did you know that body temperature is one of the main causes of bad sleep? Whether you're too hot, you're too cold, you're tossing and turning. Now, I want to tell you about a fantastic product that I've been using, and since we've been using this at my home, my sleep has improved massively. And this is the Pod Pro cover from 8sleep. This is a cover that goes over your current mattress. This mattress cover tracks your body temperature and it tailors it so you can get the best sleep ever. Data shows that 8sleep users experience up to 19% increase of recovery, 32% improvement of sleep quality and a 34% more deeper sleep. And also another thing, it splits the bed. So if you like it cool and your missus likes it warm, you can do that as well, which for me, it's an absolute game changer. So I like it very cold where the missus likes it just a little bit cool it's perfect so you can get $150 off this mattress cover that's a lot of money just go to eatsleep.com forward slash boxing and get $150 off this today the link is below number four this is the mistake that I know that you're making because I even make it often right now after all these years of boxing and that is dropping your non-punching hand and if you think Tony I don't do that just get a video of you watch it in slow motion and I guarantee that you'll throw one two hook and this will come down here before it goes up there or you'll throw a one two and this will drop down here it happens all the time like I said even with me when I watch my videos back that I post on YouTube I'm like oh no I hope no one notices that but now you will notice so dropping your non-punching hand you want to always bring it back to your face no matter what punch you're throwing that non-punching hand should be always by your face. Number three is when you're throwing straight punches, fully extend them. So many times I'll see this here where the arms are bent. If you throw your arms bent, even if you turn on your hips, you're not getting that full power in your punch. You wanna really rotate and throw it as far as you can, punch through the target, and right there, this arm is solid. There's no bend in this arm. So fully extend every time you throw them straight punches and you'll see your power just increase. Moving on to number two is your hips and turning them when you throw punches because if you don't turn your hips, these are arm punches. But as soon as you turn these hips like this, you're gonna get way more power in them punches, no matter what punch it is you're throwing. And as well with your hips, you wanna be turning your hips when you're slipping, when you're rolling, it's all in the hips. If you move your hips, your feet will do its own thing. Now moving on number one is your hands. When you're not punching the bag, you're here, hands is relaxed, I'm here. If I'm not punching anything, I'm here. Then I'll do a tight fist, then I'll punch, then I'll come back relaxing here. Tight fist, then I'll punch, then I'm relaxing here. Now for everything I've just showed you way more in depth, click here for the ultimate guide to boxing. This is the best video I've ever created. Click here and watch this next.